Hey folks, Dan here from Leave of Nature. I left the woodshed. Thought we'd mix it up today. Hereby, industrial shipbuilding area along some water near the coast. Today's bird is one most people know. But maybe they don't know it by name. You may have heard the sound of or that. You might think, oh yeah, that's a seagull. And you'd be right, except there is no such thing as a seagull. The bird we are listening to right now, that's the herring gull. The herring, H-E-R-R-I-N-G, gull, is the most numerous, the most common gull in the world, actually. Um, pretty big gull, gets a wingspan that's close to almost five feet. It's a complete opportunistic gull. This gull will spend time eating anything it possibly can. <laughs> this gull has been persecuted for many, many, many years because they just nest right out in the open on little coastal islands and big eggs that often people use for food, especially when people are really hungry. But this is a fascinating bird. This bird has a complex vocal array, sometimes over a dozen different calls that mean can mean different things. and. Like a lot of other birds, its body language is key in understanding what it means when it's talking. So right now, I've got a pair of gulls out here on the on the uh, marsh, uh, um, and they're sitting there, they're facing off and kind of bowing down and making all sorts of displays towards each other. It looks like it's probably a mating display. A group of gulls, in its collective downtime, is known as a gullery or a flotilla. There's a few other words that come in as well. So, the herring gull, our most common gull. So next time you hear the think, well, that's not just a seagull, that's a herring gull. So, hope you enjoyed it. Episode six, learn a bird. Spread the word, let people know, share. Hope you're loving it. Send me some comments. Bye-bye.